Hey guys, Tyler2k here, and today we're going to take a look at the Steve Fox trailer. As usual, everything can and might change by final release date. Steve starts with a new homing high attack that I believe to be up back 2, very similar to Devil Jin up 2. This move is plus 4 on block, where Steve interrupts King with a counter hit down forward 2 that is no longer a launcher. Instead, it guarantees duck 1 plus 2, Masaji Ender. Steve evades King with what appears to be a new flicker dropback animation. He then follows up with a new high guard crush attack, similar to Lydia's dropback on Blockable, that's at least plus 10, guaranteeing a 1-1-2. Steve then goes for an EX duck forward 2, which now deals chip damage on block, although I don't believe this to be a guard crush anymore. Taking the plus frames, he then ends with a duck 1. Steve launches King with a duck 2 into a right weave 1-2, which now ends with a high option, similar to up back 2. This can transition to Steve's new southpaw stance, where it extends the combo with a southpaw 2, a tornado spin option, ending with a sonic thing attack. Back 1-2 no longer causes wall splat, but can now transition to southpaw. Steve then cancels southpaw into duck, where King gets clipped by a duck 1 option, and Steve then follows up with a new string, 4 2 2 one, two, one. Surprisingly, Steve's back 1 is still a counter hit launcher, not requiring him to commit to the double high. He then follows up with an EX Duck 1, popping Heat Burst, binding Hrong to the floor. Steve then follows up with a new 2-2 string, causing Tornado Spin, entering into Pab, where he ends with a Pab 4-2-1. Steve punishes with a back 2 that's no longer a natural hit launcher, but instead is plus 14, guaranteeing Sonic Fang, which is now a Heat Engager. Steve then follows up with his Heat Smash, a supercharged down 4-2 into a flurry of attacks, ending with a big dunk. On counter hit, Steve's up back 2 transitions to southpaw, where an I-14 southpaw 1 is guaranteed. This move is both a homing attack as well as a heat engager. While in heat mode, all of Steve's duck options are naturally EX. Notice how this costs meter though. Steve takes his plus frames and goes for a duck throw, although this throw costs heat gauge, and it might be a 50-50 from how long it takes to initiate. While running 2 is a heat engager and thus can be heat dash cancelled for full launch. Steve follows up with a 4-2-2, transitioning to Southpaw, where he extends the combo with a Southpaw 2 Tornado Spin. Steve finishes the combo with a Back 1, Flicker 1, Alp 2 Ender, but notice how Harong is not carried, but instead is hit towards the ground. And finally, we see a full crouch down for a 2 launch into Rage Art. Steve follows up with a Hajime no Ippo Dempsey Roll style attack, ending with a massive uppercut knockaway, 